Hello everyone and welcome to the Stellaris Let's Play Newbie Tutorial Series Redux. I'm your host, College Fade. It's episode 4. And the year is 2260. This is where our empire is. Right there. We're all here. Take a look at the opinion Mac mode. We don't have anybody who totally hates us right next to us. We can see that the Raxar Commissariat kind of doesn't like us because of border friction. And these other two factions um, are kind of friendly. These folks, <coughs> we need to learn the Federation diplomacy from them. Uh, we have a commercial and a research agreement with them, so that's good. So this is a good map to be on. And where we're at with construction and things like that. We wanted to get all of this stuff up here. There was a, a Gaia world up here that we grabbed. And that was uh, very nice. We're colonizing. Should be colonizing one of these planets down here. I think this one. But what is this? This is an ocean world. And it says it's 80% colonizable by us. Oh, and there's a ton of city districts. Ooh, Dixon. Not... This has been a very poor map for minerals. It's very been a very mineral, um, not good map. We also have this planet way out here now. This is Blackest Rex, the continental world. I think we sent a colony ship to that last episode. I'm not 100% sure. There's another planet here. This is an ocean world. We like continental worlds, but ocean worlds are also 80% habitable by us. This one actually has some minerals. <clears throat> So looking at this, I want to get some more colony ships out. I'm gonna get one going there. Traber three. All right, let's colonize this ship, this planet. Let's get that sent out. Traber three. This is gonna be food on that one. These other ones need to be uh, terraformed which cost five grand a piece, but I don't see why we couldn't spend the money on this one right here, because all of these, these are all so close to Bioforge that are our main capital, that we can grab all the trade off of them. So civilian industries, um, civilian complexes, let me get the name right, commercial zones. <laughs> these are civilian industries, commercial zones, on each one of these would garner us a lot of income. So I think the thing to do would be to, let's just start the terraforming on that one. It's going to cost five grand, turn it into a continental world. And uh, our species is highly colonizable now because we are the super bioforge. We took the ascension perk of the flesh is weak and we spent the money on it. Prepare a special System project to enhance our complete. citizens with cybernetic implants. So this also... Uh, all these things made us a little more habitable. So I'm gonna also habitat this colonize this planet Brachus Rex B. But climate today. Did I send somebody the planet already has a planet colony? Cool. Somebody's on the way. Awesome. Excellent. Research complete. Research. Oh, so we get gene modification points now. We can modify that. The deep space black site and influence gained. I like this one. Um this is statecraft. I don't think we have a statecraft person. She's at 62%. We don't have a statecraft person, so we'll let her keep doing it because she has the spark of genius trait. This is the veil. And uh, this was our Gaia world. So let's get some robots on it. And then uh, it needs more housing. So we're gonna spend at least one row here on housing. I'd like to spend more, but the thing is, well, we may only get two slots actually. Um, there is some active volcano. We can get rid of that. That's a thousand. Now we're down to 1.5, so I don't want to spend a lot more money. We got, we have an opportunity here to free up some districts, underwater vents, max generator districts, submerged bore veins. Nice. I, I, I want to get all these minerals because this has been a very mineral free galaxy. I am not a fan. Alright. 
This robot miner, I've got all the mining done. I changed the food over to energy. So I'm going to employ those two people. Let's get our ships caught up here. Construction ship. We wanted to try to grab as much of this as we could. Go get this. So that can be a choke point there. Away from these guys in case they decide to be hostile in the future. And we have our fleet. That was the other thing. Where is our fleet headed? Our fleet is headed back to repair itself. Having an ethics shift in the Rexar Commissariat to more egalitarian. Nice. So these guys are going back to repair. We're going to get a fleet up here and take on the Life Tree Protectors. They're a little bit problematic because their small amiibo weapons uh, do armor and hull damage. So they're not... They don't do anything special against shields. So I want to deck out my ships in all shields. Go take them on. And do we have the power to do that now? Yes, we do. So I'm going to do this. And when my ship gets up here to repair, we're going to do that. And then what, what are we looking at for weapons? For do they only have regenerative hull tissue. So they don't have shields or armor. So our best weapon choice against them. This does 100% armor and 50% to hull damage. And this does 75% to hull damage. So, <clears throat> so if I want to change one of these, let's see. Well, to change them all and then change it back. If I use the mining laser, if I did this, I'm going to put the mining laser on all these ships. We're going to leave the name the same because we're going to treat this as an upgrade. Same thing here. Just give me all the mining lasers. And then give me as much shielding as you can. We have enough power to handle it. So these ships are going to get back and we're going to upgrade them and then we're going to take these guys out. Spaceborne Organics. That way we can collect on this. Put these two guys to work. Another constru that construction ship there, that's the science ship. This science ship is down here. Oh yeah, and we're locked in because complete. ancient mining drones. We have to send our fleet back in this direction at some point in time. So what I'm going to do is I only need one science ship over there. I'm going to send this one back to Einstein to assist research. And this science ship is... Survey the system, survey that system, and then survey that system. It's a little less stressful of a game and don't have to worry complete. about the enemies being right next door to you and them being some kind of exterminator. I want to get this construction ship back to here because I want to grab these volatile moats. Also because I want to collect all of this stuff. These guys are natural. Almost a natural choke point. These guys are a natural choke point right there. I keep anybody from backdooring us. It'd be fun to go up and at least get to there. That's a good choke point too. But it'd be fun to get all of this from these guys. Although this does create a, a problem. They already have an entry point in here. So I'm always thinking about entry points. How do opposing empires come in and kill us? All right. This is, Research complete. Let's finish that planet out as far as districts go. And then we need some System upgrades. System survey complete. Research complexes. This is the first upgrade for research. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to put uh, Miss Spark of Genius on it. I know. I'm doing this. I'm going to put her on it. Where is she? Because she has expertise in computing and Spark of Genius. So she's really going to make this technology fast. 77%. He is not a genius. I want to see if I can find another genius who's busy leading 
this person he's commanding. Yes, grab that. So that technology is... Assisting research. It says it's assisting research, but it doesn't have a person doing it. It's the first time I've seen that little icon not show up. Oh, let's see. Oh, this research shift is already performing this order. Um, and we'll leave you there. It seems like that might be a little bit of a bug or something. Back to our worlds. These people have... <clears throat> This is one of those planets where it doesn't have enough jobs districts so that I can safely split it in two. I don't have to focus on just one thing because we also have a whole bunch of block districts here. So I can go up here and I can say, hmm, I want to get rid of dangerous wildlife for 500 Alex. This planet is also doing food. This planet is doing... So here's something I never do, but I'm going to do it. Anomaly found. EF means we have focused our districts on energy or food, so when we're specializing robots, we have multiple options. Our species earned another trait point, so I need to spend it. We could spend it on a research or unity from jobs. Yes, we'll take that. That's what I want. So, in order to make this template a whole species, you have to hit apply. But like this, it creates a research project that's going to take 30 mon 31 months to complete. But then we'll be earning more unity per month. Right now we're only learning, earning a paltry 64. This colony has shown up. Get them robots. And they need a person to work. Now, this unemployed person will immediately start working this robot plant, so I'm not as concerned about White hell. Despite the seemingly frozen surface of Aklinda 5, the planet's orbital path around Aklinda leaves it blistering at several hundred degrees. Under normal circumstances, this would sublimate the ice on Aklinda 5's surface. However, extreme gravitational pressure exerted by the planet's ultra-dense core keeps the water in a solid state, resulting in a planet of fiery hot ice. It sounds like something you'd want in a glass of whiskey. Fiery hot ice. This planet needs more housing. So Colonization in progress. And it's another planet where it doesn't have a lot of housing districts. <clears throat> so in order to collect all the minerals, we're going to have to be careful with this until we can get all the blockers off of it. <clears throat> you can see we're hemorrhaging a little bit of food. We're going to get that fixed in a little bit because we have a lot of food planets. So, for instance, this has two more people unemployed. One of them is a robot farmer. And the rest of this planet is going to be used for housing another new continent, the Rufari I Kingdom. There's an abandoned gateway. Situation log updated. You are fanatic xenophile. Increased opinion for other species. And they are spiritual, so they're very nice people. Nice little wolves. Nice little foxes. Look at them. They're cute. We've learned of a new strategic research. So where are they at on them? They're over here. The Benathi Independent Regime. Oh no, that's not them. They're not Raxar, where are they? Oh, they're up here. The Rufari hiking. They're way up here. And their opinion is lukewarm at best. These guys are now angry with us. The Raxar. So, new contact the Versac Empire. They are fanatic xenophile and militarist. Okay. So this place over here is going to get anchorage and a thing and crew quarters and an upgrade. We're going to, we're going to, this is, we need to put Anomaly systems found. here, stations there, and there's stations there. We need to be prepared for these guys. So this is what we're going to start doing. We have to start getting ready because these guys are already showing that uh, they went from lukewarm angry to us to angry there now. Uh, Raxar Commissariat is uh, now minus is an autocracy, border friction, slavery policy, slavery policy. Hold Research on. complete. 
Slavery allowed. No, 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 no. I don't want that. Purge. Displacement only. Prohibited. Okay. Let's see about that. Construction right. complete. And authoritarian tyrants is an autocracy. Our rival. Silicon life. And I don't want to rival them even though I'll earn more influence because... Research Institute. Okay, what does she do? We have her in this position with the Spark of Genius. We should grab things like this. So, let's grab Basic Combat Rolls. is cheap. She'll have that researched quickly. You guys, upgrade. It uses up most of our alloys. What is their fleet stance like? Their fleet power is inferior to ours, which is good. Because I don't want to go to war with them anytime soon. Construction complete. And what's our 37 months to the next system survey? So complete. we'll be able to get a federation there, and we could form a federation and potentially get some allies with us. This is the Raxar. Let us end this shut up. New contact: the Great Wasari Combine. They are militarist and fanatic materialist. Robot upkeep. Good. We like, we're, we're also fanatic materialist, so hey, we understand you. That's nice of them. Their initial opinion of us is, is good. So everybody over here is good. We want to keep that that way. So these dudes here. Let's see, do we have enough now to finish the fleet? Good. We're going to get 30 ships, and then we're going to go take care of this stuff over here. And then, um... <coughs> ships upgraded. Where do I think they're more likely to attack from? Here? Or here? Because right now I can't have two fleets. I can't split fleets. I don't have enough. I don't have... I just don't have enough. I mean, I need to put one over here and one over here. I think the smart thing to do is put a shipyard here. We're going to put a shipyard here to feed ships to these two stations. And then um, we probably Research need a shipyard complete. over here to feed this station as well. So, Because we're not using all of our starbase capacity. In fact, I'm going to put it right here next to this planet that we're eventually going to colonize later. Construction complete. Research Corvette hull hit points like that. Gas extraction wells and extraction wells and exploit resource we need that um even though it's not voidcraft i'd like to get this because he's researching it i need this as soon as possible so we're gonna do that there's this colony over here it has unemployed people so let's it's an energy planet construction we're gonna put complete. research buildings on it has other people. This finally has an open slot. <coughs> it has the Atoklan Monument. I would really like to put a genetic clinic on it. Where is this? This is Spock. Oh yeah, Spock. So Spock has a commercial zone, which is great. We need that on there. I think the thing to do is get the gene clinic on there, even though I don't want to. Anomaly found. How many employees do I have working? Culture workers, I have eight clerks. It would be more research if I just put it in the research, research building complete. right now. I'm gonna do that though. Basic combat rolls. Ooh, we're in a hole trap. I choose research alternatives. I'd like to have a few more choices. These get Anchorage, Gun Batteries, Crew Quarters, and an Upgrade. This fleet is ready to go now. Oh, they're not fully upgraded. 21 ships are upgraded for 100. Because let's see what it look complete. at. They all have mining lasers on them. All these Corvettes have mining lasers and shields. I don't know what the upgrade is for. It's 101 though, it won't take us long to get there. Oh, we are really making a lot of food now. We were in the hole there for a while. So we're going to do this. We're going to sell some more of it off. Give us energy credits to pay for this fleet moving around. 
This can almost, but we're lacking that resource, and that's why I wanted that resource, so. Oh, but I don't want to upgrade this on this planet anyways. Construction complete. Let's put the energy grid down, and this will give a boost to all these generator districts we have over here. We have a construction ship over Species here modified. that needs to do its thing. You go there. Go that. Species modified. Great. So, under species, we are now all of these. The super bioforces. A, a bonus to unity. Bonus to all research, which we started with. Pop housing usage minus five and habitability 20%. This is what we got from being cybernetic when the flesh is weak. So that's why we can colonize those ocean worlds now. Grimacine. Adds Grimacine modifier. Or spend the energy credits to attempt to stabilize the planet in a more favorable state. This is on Cephaban. Cephaban. Terraforming failed on Cephaban. Oh, that's too bad. Darn it. It always fails. It failed last time, too. Alright, this planet. Interdimensional trade decreases. The Mirror Dimension Biofort Supremacy reports that their economy is in decline due to a series of defeats, the appendages of the War Beast. Hopefully they recover. We're in this position with this planet. I want to put more alloy things. Okay, we're going to do the final upgrade on this fleet. I don't know what this is. 21 ships will be upgraded for 101. Oh, it's the combat rolls. That's what it's upgraded. Construction complete. It's upgrading the combat rolls. All right. This. Incoming transmission. Okay, what do we have? Trade deal offer. Oh, they're going to give us energy credits and minerals. They like us. It's nice. Okay, up here. You guys build. Anchor. Incoming transmission. And. Construction complete. They want, we have, yes, research agreement. That's great. We have established a new colony over here on Traber. So, colony. Distribute luxury goods. Encourage planetary growth. It's going to be a food planet, but it's got enough districts that mining is going to be the second thing, especially because we're short. We are short minerals, so I'm going to do the first <coughs> districts there are going to be mine, and it also has a couple blockers. Spin some blockers on that. This colony has one unemployed pop. Put them to work. And for droids, it is building. Build, build the robot miners on this planet. I'm not concerned about them being built super fast. That construction ship. Okay. Are you guys done upgrading? Yes. Okay, get over here. I'm gonna go see if you have the skills to take those guys down. Transmission. Okay, incoming transmission. They want a entering in a non-aggression pact. I agree. That would be a good idea. This dude can go to Brachus Rex. That one's staying there. Okay. We got all the cities being worked on. We need to get these stations back. Anchorage. We're going to earn as many alloys as we can. I can't wait to see how this works out. Tree of Life Protector. Construction complete. And then hopefully, um, when they get done, we'll send them back here to refit at this position. Construction see, complete. So I want you to go over there just because I want you to see if you can see any of their ships with the sensors. Let's see here. Research speed, survey speed. The Endijon Partnership Mega Corporation established a new branch on Bioforge Prime. So now, here's the corporations. They're building these. These provide clerk jobs and merchant jobs for us. The Raxar Commissariat has audaciously laid claim to the Gowarton system. We'll agree to that. The Gowarton system. So right there, this is where they're construction complete. This is where they're thinking they're going to make construction complete. 
their first punch at us. <clears throat> We're gonna need two fleets. We're gonna have to get them started soon. We're gonna get all these upgraded. Construction complete. You collect that. And then work your way down here to collect this. And this. And then we'll get this. New branch office. Established a new branch office. We can't close it, we're not the owner of the branch. Research complete. Mega Corporation. Research alternatives. Okay, what does she have for me now? Antimatter reactor or the X ray laser or research station up at Energy Nexus. I don't really need that upgrade. I need physics here now. So we're gonna go for X ray laser. We're gonna she's at sixty two percent. Physics guy makes it sixty one percent. So he's one percent less and he's got the specialty, so when he levels up, he'll surpass her expertise. And that means I need this side ship. Put her on. Make use of her. There you go, honey. Help us with the research on that planet. We're getting close. Here they come. 1.7 compared to 1.1. Actually, 1.2 if you round it up. And I have specialized all my ships to completely and totally whack that guy so i'm gonna grab empire trade value nice i'm gonna grab form federation i want to have that construction on complete. hand for if and when any of these guys decide that they want to do that invite into federation Research he's complete. minus 42 away so we'll look at that in more detail here in a minute gas extraction wells awesome um Unlock cruiser. I'm gonna grab minerals from miners first because that's really important and it's cheap. And there's our gas extraction oil. Great, we're gonna grab that one. We're gonna get that one. Um, where's this construction ship? Are there any up in this direction? No. Why don't you come down here and get this thing? Because after this guy does this stuff, I want him working in this direction. And there's another planet up here. This is an ocean world. We don't, we're not colonizing this yet? Well, that seems like a big mistake. That seems like a giant mistake. We should be colonizing this. So let's go do that. Perfect. I love that. I love being cybernetic. This is, this is hot dog. Colonization in progress. You have no orders. I just wanted to see what you could see, and you can't see anything. So, okay. Well then, in that case, you need a gun. Construction complete. You need shipyard anchorage. So the Empire Capital has one unemployed person. All right, well. It's time to get the research off that planet because we're putting it on other planets. And what we're short on for resource here is everything. Okay, hold on. Let's see how this goes. Hostile fleet engaged. Research complete. The Tree of Life protectors. And what did we? What did? What happened here? We lost one Corvette because damage to shields. Total 100% large amiibo weapon. So. That damage to hull, of course, if it can get through the shields, that was the thing. But we had damage to armor. Very efficient. So, okay. This guy, come down here and research projects in that system, and then 
Let's survey that system in you guys. Go here. I'm gonna upgrade you. Research, faction influence gain, and a deep space black side. Food facility processes and terraform. Okay. I'm going to choose oh fleet command limit, that might be important. Yep. I want the food processing facilities, but they're not paramount right now. I'm gonna grab that. Alright folks, my apologies here for about nine months of game time running off the clock here. I had to get up away from the desk. So I paused, I thought I'd pause the game and it, it of course did what its thing. It ran and it ran and it ran and it ran until I, until research went dry and this thing popped up fortunately and caused it to pause. So splicing the video here. I don't know what happened over the last nine months. We're going to find out. Uh, the sh old god's shrine to the precipitate. This is reported. Our science officer reported that the Trundle's findings of the precipitate shrine, they recognized early on that a text in some lo logographic script is inlaid in the walls, heavily distorted by the layers of translucent lacquer. So, anyway, there's all this about shrine to the old gods revelation so here are the end results of the shrine to the old gods quest um, knowledge is power secret knowledge is secret power we can gain a flat 80 influence that will blow through in two seconds monetize the findings we can turn it into energy credits um, we can earn society research or we walk in the footsteps of the divine start a religious renaissance shifting empire ethics towards spiritualist no I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, what would I rather have? Society research or influence gain? I'm going to go for the society research. And that will be the end of that. Now, let's get our research back up here. What are you working on? Void craft. Planet build speed star fortress. That's really important. I need that. We have a timed event. Debris and Wujan. He's working on that. Okay. Our ships are over here, and I want to get them back to being normal. So, this guy, Coil Gun, because it does a whole bunch of damage to shields. So, I'm going to start with that. And these guys do all this damage to armor and hull, which is great. So, I'm going to kind of do a mix and match here like this. And because... Let's see. Let's do this. Let's keep both these things... Let's keep it split like that. And this is actually, this would be more accurate to say, K-A-H, Armor Hall, take this one and destroy it. These guys, we're going to go back to doing, um, well, we're going to leave this Mining Laser one here. And since the Mining Laser does all this damage to Armor and Hull, we're going to call this an Armor Hull ML, because it's uh, the Mining Laser. And then this also does a ton of damage to armor and hull, and it's the more efficient one to come. So, let's call it this. And then let's do the kinetic ones, coil guns. Oh, and then these are all shields. I should probably do something like this. Split it so it's not so I'm not so easy to kill. Um, these were all armor because these. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't need it because these do a better job of it. So let's do this ceramic metal armor. Let's split our defenses here as much as we can so that we don't make it easy for enemies to, to train on us. All right. Now, this place up here needs to do. It's building a crew course. Great. Everybody's upgrading. That's perfect. So these guys can repair, and then they can upgrade. I need to manage this fleet, because what you can do is go in here and say, I want to retrofit, swap this design with another. So I'm going to go with that. Add a ship design to the fleet. I'm going to add that. 
on a couple of these guys anyway. And I want to add a few of these money laser guns. So that gets me six, six, seven. Yeah, cool. So that's that fleet. We gotta get alloys so we can catch up. This complete. planet, the Veil. Um, what do I want to do? I know what I want. Commercial zones, of course, are nice. Gene clinics are great to help the planet grow faster at the beginning. But I'd like to start getting some production on it first. This planet has a person ready to do a job. And I think I'm just going to give them another clerkship. This guy is going to go down here and claim that system. This science ship is sitting over here at Brachus Rex doing nothing. Well, he needs to do this. Assist with the research, my friend. These bastions. Okay. Now, the hyperlane register. Effect on allied ships jump time and jump cooldown. Combat disengagement chance. Galactic ambition minus 20%. Or we can go for this. This shield hit points of our enemies. Oh, defense grid supercomputer. This is what I want. It adds a ton more defense platforms. Now, we have to come up with the alloys to actually... We have to come up with the alloys to actually make it. But, yes. Here, upgrade. We're going... This is a long process, so... But, I think it's best to start preparing now to take on these punks. Um, even if right now they are their fleet power is inferior, but I don't think we can Deal with that when they've got two ways in really three It's, it's not good for us so We need 392 alloys to upgrade those ships Oh, yeah, and then how are how are these guys doing for being enlightened? Technological enlightenment, they're about halfway there. Well, hot dog. Can't wait to pull that one off. What's over here? Space Amoeba 3K. Oh yeah, we're leaving that one. Space Amoeba 3K by EA Sports. Debris analyzed. Construction complete. So what do we have going on here? That goes to that. This goes to this. That goes to that. Okay, that's good. Not that there's any trade going through there. Rackstar have claimed complete. the Yump system. So that right there. We just did the. We're at the trying to get alloys. Special here. project complete. After rigorous research, we now understand why the trees sap some of those creatures. The tree is able to produce a highly nutritious substance, which has machine-like abilities to repair organic tissue. The tree is a tree of life. If we harvested it, we could use it to expand the lifespan of our people. But there is one problem: the tree's healing power is limited in amount. We could only use it to improve a small group of people's life substantially, or increase everyone's situation by a small amount. Give it to our leaders, and they have a leader lifespan of 15 years. Give it to the people, they have happiness. We're going to give it to our leaders, because an extra 15 years of lifespan gives them a chance to reach their full potential and stay there longer for bigger bonuses. So that's why we made that decision. That colony ship going right there, that's cool. What are you doing? Oh, good. Oh, you need to grab that gas extraction oil at first, though. Construction grab that. Here. Complete. Then, then you can afford to do this, and this, and this. I'd like to be able to spend some some money on alloys, but it's they're so expensive on the market, it's ridiculous. Construction complete. Buying alloys. 
even to buy 25 of them is 130 credits. So we can't even afford to spend a little bit and like buying five alloys. It's just not, not sure that's worth it. I mean, I guess it'd be 500 over the course of a year. Non-aggression packed invitation. Let's do that then. Let's buy Research five of these over the course of a whole year. It's 500 alloys, which would be, you know, five Corvettes or close to it. So fleet command limit. You can get another fleet command limit. There's an alien zoo. What does this do? Culture worker jobs. Hmm. Okay, before we choose that, wasn't there a planet that wanted an alien zoo that allowed an alien zoo? I'm gonna look and see. What's this? Max alien zoo there is. Wow, okay. Well, in that case, we're gonna grab the alien zoo. I wanna put it on that planet. Which planet was it? The Veil that allowed that? Oh. The Veil. Colonization in progress. Well, I'm gonna call it this. There, now it's Zootopia. <laughs> this colony has spit something out, and it's a research planet. So let's get it started with some researchers. Oh, we can't do that yet. Not until it's uh, construction complete. Not until it has capital. So let's put an attack them and then get the capital. These guys have a person Colony ready for a job. We're getting another clerkship. Colony established. Excellent. Okay, colony. Decisions and it's a food plant. Brachus Rex is a food plant and it has almost nothing else to offer us. So, one of these, one of these. This construction ship came over here and did that. That's fantastic. In that case, you're done. Return to the nearest. Oh no, you're not. Go back here. You're not done. You are not done either. Surveying. War Goals declared. War declared. The Rufari High Kingdom has declared war against the Raxar. So the Rufari High Kingdom, who we kind of like, and they kind of like us, and they're going to war with them. Well, 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 well. See, this is going to be one of those situations where, well, they're at war and all their ships end up over here. We need to pay attention to this. 2269, most wars don't last longer than 10 years. As, as things complete. roll along here, if we can get ships in position, we can take a lot of land from those guys. Piper Drive 3, what, what do we want to spend our research on? We get physics research. Let's get the disruptor. System survey complete. They cut right through everything. The upside down. Go to Zootopia and help with research. You're done there now, my friend. You should upgrade, but you don't have the money. The alloys. Quartz, 500 alloys. But wait a minute. This one? This is this, and this is oh, this is wrong. construction complete. Oh, shipyard back here. This is the thing. Yes. Defense grid supercomputer. I wonder if we can afford more of these per month. Maybe we can afford ten. That would probably be at the limit. That we'll see how far down that pulls our energy credits. Construction complete. This colony has robots. Okay, let's see what everybody's actually making. Bioforge Prime, what are you making? Robot miners, because you have a bunch of mining slots. But let's look at our population. Let's see what our workers are. We have 16 robot miners and then some technicians. Ooh, cool. So really, what we can do with Bioforge is 
all of our mining slots are taken up by robot miners. So we should make fast robots now on that planet. This planet is making fast robots. And they're getting split between both of those. This planet is making robot farmers. How many farming slots do they have? All of their farming positions. Nope. We so they can keep kicking out robot farmers until all these spots are taken up by these guys. And that'll happen as we create things like alloy foundries and civilian industries that pulls up people from lower strata to take those jobs, it'll eventually pull these farmers up and then they'll be taken over by robots. So we're good with that. That one's not building anything yet. This is building a robot miner on a planet that still needs miners. That's good. Zootopia is building a robot farmer on a planet that probably just needs fast robots for right now. Brachus Rex isn't building their robots yet because it's a brand new planet. And Mistrust is just now colonized. And this planet has just been terraformed. So we're going to go colonize it. Mizar. Or Mizar. For Mizar, I think. It's got a whole lot of districts and nothing for job districts. Again, oh my gosh, this whole galaxy has just been bereft of minerals. Sad. Sad cat emoji. Very sad. Research this, this complete. Like problem up here. Okay. Alien Zoo. Fabulous. All right. Let's see. Naval capacity. Gene modification points. Man, I feel like we need to grab that while we have it. So let's do it. It's a rare research. Let's take that. Modification points. I I want to get these two planets as well. As far as uh, terraform, to do that we're need, gonna need money. Quick. Recent tectonic activity modifier for 12 months. Given the following effects, happiness. Brachus Rex is at a negative. Zootopia. Construction complete. A quick damage report. Staggered our colony has caused no damage. Awesome. So, I max alien zoo. So we can build the alien zoo. I'm not gonna replace it, I just wanna see what it is. The alien zoo. Wow. Entertainer jobs and culture worker jobs. We'll be building that as soon as we can. They have decided to claim this Polystea planet, this one this system right here. They're claiming stuff, but um, they're at war with these guys, so. Let's see how that works out for them. What's it take to upgrade you guys? 423? And now. I can have 50 ships in a fleet. Construction complete. Construction complete. I really don't want to go to war with these guys before I'm completely ready, and in my opinion, Construction that means complete. at least two fleets, preferably three, spread across one over here and over here. Construction complete. What I'd like to do is uh, I'm trying to think of what I want my assault to look like. I'd like to get everything here complete. up to this choke point, including that straggler over there, or even up to there. That way I could complete. turn two star bases into one up Construction there. Complete. And then I'd like to capture all of this up to right about there. And that would leave them with this and this line back to here. And we'd have effectively three choke points turned into Incoming two. transmission. Should be a little easier to manage. Bioford supremacy should not be prisoners in the Bioford supremacy, and neither should our own people. Let's agree to remedy this. Okay. Immigration treaty. I'm going to stop doing this. Because it's already getting me in trouble. Food is fine. Bioforge. Let's pause and get some of this stuff. 
I don't have the mineral purification plant yet. It doesn't exist. We haven't researched it. And I also don't have the Ministry of Production. So this, this is interesting. Let's go for alloy families. This is going to get replaced by an alloy family as well. I've got the gene clinics, the autochthon monument, commercial zones, and robots. I have everything I want. I just need to crank out research buildings. I'm going to go back on bar first. I'm going to change this. We're falling short of consumer goods. Now, we're not selling any either. So since we're not selling any, that means is we need more. So, civilian industries. This planet has one unemployed population. I give them a clerk job. We're going to have plenty of housing to hand out most of the rest of this. So we need the population to bump up to 35 there. We're going to have to deal with the unemployed population there for a little while. These guys have an unemployed pop, and we need mines. So I'm actually going to take the time here to build two mines to kind of plan ahead. All right, you're going to grab all that stuff, and then you're going to get this. You're going to grab this stuff, and then this, and you're going to grab that. All right. Let's see how that works. Black hole. Ruined matter decompressor. We need 20,000 alloys to fix it, Felix. Ships upgraded. What happens if I upgrade that thing? Research Is, complete. Isn't there a... Isn't there a achievement for building a space station near a black hole? I'm going to find out if there is. The disruptor. We got that. Energy nexus is the upgrade for energy technicians. Plasma accelerator is a big upgrade. This is really cheap to research and it matches his tech, so we're going to do that. Construction complete. There is a migration treaty between the Rufari. There is a research agreement between some other people. You are done. Okay. You've done everything you can up in this direction. Colony established. We have a planet over here that we haven't... Oh, we can colonize this one now because of immigration. So we can colonize that with immigrants. Because these guys, the Gagassi, in progress. are enjoy this type of world. It's a thought. I'm thinking about doing it. I'm thinking about pulling the trigger on that. And they, obviously they can do these then too. Mm. Well, 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 well. Um, I guess the answer to that is going to be yes. So I can terraform these. I can I can fix their environmental status later. Odd factory to breakfast rice. So yeah, I like to have a uniform empire, but you can do that through genetic engineering and terraforming technology. You can do that all later, and then everybody's the same, and then it makes your bonuses a little easier. Remove odd factory. A pop has gone missing. It still suits our needs choose that. Oh, since we're going to hemorrhage a little bit of food. Mm, I'm going to wait until I want to grab these planets, but I think part of this is the drain on all these new planets that aren't producing anything. So I'm going to wait. As you can see, ships, stations, star bases, buildings districts, city districts. So when you're building complete. a bunch of brand new colonies like this. Construction complete. Construction oh, complete. Atomic countdown incredible. 
Adds 10 engineering research to the upside down. Wow. The clock has just now reached its momentous deadline, ejecting a stream of self-replicating nanites. The nanites have constructed some manner of advanced computational network on the surface of the upside down B. The network is inactive and seemingly devoid of any AI. The nanites have deactivated the instant its construction was complete. Our researchers are somewhat baffled at us. The purpose of the network studying it should keep them occupied for quite some time. Upside down B computational network. Anyway. What I was going to say is when you're building districts on these planets, on these new colonies, and the planet isn't producing anything yet to help you offset the costs, then uh, a whole bunch of colonies at one time can, can be a hindrance. So this is going to do this. So I don't want to over colonize and get myself in a hole. The upside down B though, where's the upside down B? Right there. Oh, cool. So, if I go with... Where is this guy? Oh, we're gonna get this. Build research station. Grab that engineering research. Construction complete. Bioforge. Alright, so this is Bioforge. This is the homeworld one. Research complete. And we can build... Deep Space Black Site. Governing Ethics Attraction Stability... Overseer call up y'all plus 18%. I always wanted to do this. Build that deep space black site there. Research improved reactor wormhole travel. I'm not too concerned about that just yet. Um, while it's cheap and easy, I'm going to grab these other things like research station output and auxiliary fire control. And to do that, I'm going to go grab our super scientist because she has expertise in computing and sparkle genes. Construction complete. Reassign this guy to Jangle Research Assistants. You've done well, my friend. You've gotten as much physics, um, not physics research, but particle beam research. So you've done good. Construction oh, complete. All right, this is gonna be the end of this episode, uh, episode four. So we're rolling right along. Folks, thanks for watching. As always, if you guys have a question or comment, drop it down below. If you like the video, hit the like button. And if you dig the channel, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.